Lakman 2015, that stock has uh, given returns of over 45%. Geometric is the one that we're talking about. Mr. Manu Parpia, the MD and CEO, joins in for a quick chat with us. Uh, Mr. Parpia, hi. Good to see you in this afternoon. First, I uh, wanted to ask you about how Q3 is looking. We've seen profit warnings come in from the likes of TCS, Wipro, Take Solutions, Hexaware, all on account of uh, the Chennai floods. Are you going to say face uh, the same fate, uh, possibly in Q3? Well, obviously, I can't talk about Q3. This is a quiet period now. We are almost at our results. So, but I can say, of course, we did. We have operations in Chennai, so we do do. We did get affected. We are trying to overcome the effects because uh, many of our customers are allowing for makeup working. So we hope to minimize the impact of uh, Chennai, but obviously it will have some impact. Okay, uh, uh, Manu, hi, morning. Uh, what about uh, this increased morning, visa, visa costs uh, uh, from the U.S.? We've seen doubling mm -hmm. of uh, H1 and L1 uh, visa costs. Uh, your first <coughs> thoughts on that and uh, what kind of impact will it have on a company like yours? Okay, so uh, on the visa cost, clearly this is an unfortunate development. It caught everyone by surprise, I believe, because it got snuck in into the omnibus uh, agreement. And once it's in that omnibus agreement, it became very difficult for anyone to remove it because it's a sort of package deal. Uh, as far as geometric is concerned, uh, uh, our U.S. subsidiary is not H1 dependent or L1 dependent as it's so defined. Less than, uh, uh, we have less than 50% of our staff uh, uh, in the H1, L1 category. So as of now, we are uh, not affected. Obviously, if we try to push up our uh, percentage, then we will be affected. And it does affect the margins, uh, especially as uh, in case of H1, what happens to companies is that you sponsor an H1 and then the individual is actually free to leave and join some other company. Okay, so just extending that point on margins, uh, sir, you know, you had mentioned the last time that you all do expect continued improvement in margins for the next two quarters and we saw that in your previous quarter as well. Uh, what is a sustainable run rate that we can expect for margins and do you still stand by, the, by that guidance or now there are too many variables that you need to be that need, you need to factor in? No, I stand by my uh, the guidance given because we of course didn't factor in Chennai, but uh, mm -hmm. other uh, parts we have factored in. Uh, and uh, I think I also mentioned that we would see in the next two uh, quarters a modest growth in revenues mm -hmm. and an, uh, some improvement in margins. However, let us not uh, expect the same improvement in margins between Q1 and Q2 that we saw, but we'll see some improvement. Okay, and uh, what about uh, attrition, Manu? How, has that been a bit of a problem for you? And uh, if yes, uh, how, how do you plan to address it? <coughs> No, so attrition has uh, uh, not, well, uh, is dec declined in this particular quarter, but uh, it remains a problem because attrition is in different, you know, well, an overall number hides the true picture. There are certain sectors which are hot and certain sectors which are cooler. Mm -hmm. So in the hotter sectors, it, uh, there is attrition and we have to address it. Uh, the addressing is through uh, showing career growth, career paths, and obviously certain amount on compensation. So uh, there is no magic answer to attrition, but uh, it is a concern in certain skills. Okay, just one quick uh, question with regards to new deals. How much can we expect uh, maybe uh -huh. new deals? Uh, the quantum that we can expect maybe in Q4 or uh, the first half of 2016? I think uh, we, we should, uh, our way of working is definitely we are beginning to focus on larger deals. So I would hope to see an improvement in the number of, uh, in the value of deals closed. Uh, of course, the effect of a larger deal is normally felt over a few quarters, not in one quarter. Uh, but uh, what we are seeing is a change in the demand pattern whereby, as I have stated, the customers ask us for solutions. And these things tend to take a little longer to run through the cycle. But uh, I'm, I, I remain reasonably uh, confident of what I said uh, in terms of revenue growth, and I see continued improvement in demand. But the quality of demand has shifted 
I believe it has shifted for the entire software industry, but certainly for geometric, we are seeing a different uh, type of demand. Okay, fair enough, uh, Mr. Papriya. Thank you very much for joining in and wish you.